What's up FAV, I'm Elevator and welcome back to EC Tutorials. This sub-series is all about build a boat for treasure and in this episode I'm going to do all about Trust Bus, which is what I call the helicopter glitch because it looks like a bus with a truss on it. So, as you may not have been be aware of right now, the code to claim cake has been invalidated. So there is no way of getting cake unless you join the game on your Roblox creation the day that you create your Roblox account basically. So if you play the game on that day you will get 10 pieces of cake. This is what a cake looks like. What some people don't know is that the sprinkles on the cake, that displays how many hit points the cake has left. Let's just load myself a really quick build right now. And I shall take a piece of cake over to the rocks and show you it. I have too many save slots, I keep forgetting what one it is. Ah, here it is. So I'm literally just going to fly these pieces of cake over and show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is what the cake looks like before it takes damage. This is what it looks like after. You see, one sprinkle has gone missing. And again, another sprinkle has gone missing. So that's how you tell when your cake's about to break, you just look at the sprinkles on it. Cake has seven hit points, meaning when there's one sprinkle left, that cake is going to break. Okay, so now on to actually how to build a truss bus. There's several ways of doing this, I'm just going to show you the simplest way. So in order to build this correctly, you have to make sure you have the extra settings open. You can open this by clicking this tiny plus button here. And then you want to make sure there's no check marks here. And that this is furthest left. You can then build. Basically what that does is makes it so that blocks will fall without launching. So you place four blocks in a line. I will colour two of these to make it easier to see. And you then place two to the sides here. And then you see this arrow here, you click this until it says 0 0.5. And then this seat, you want to make it face the spawns, and then move it back one. That should be correct. Now what you need is servos. This does work with two, but I prefer to use three because it's a little bit more stable. To get these in the correct orientation, you press R once. Oh, sorry, silly me. 
forget now to make my own build here. You press T once, and then you press R three times. And then you place that right at the end. And to get these in the correct orientation, you press T. Like that. If you don't have three, you can just miss out one of the side ones. And then you want to place yourself a truss in the centre, like that, so that it is not touching the bottom block. See a gap there? Okay, so that is your truss pass. You can save this. Now, to actually fly it, you need cake. At least, that's what I thought. I've been messing around lately, and I found out that you can use timer blocks instead of cake. Well, they're actually called delays, but I call them timers. And that is because cake and timers, also classic fireworks, connect to your avatar's root, humanoid root part. That way, <clears throat> I'm very bad at explaining things, but it connects to the humanoid root part, so basically this is connected to the root part. It's an invisible part on your avatar that is mainly used for positioning reasons, I think. I'm useless at explaining. So yeah, you don't normally see it. But if you're in studio and you look at your avatar moving in playtest mode, you can see the humanoid root part if you highlight it. It's just a... I think it's... 4 by 2 by one 4 this way, 1 this way, and 2 this way. I think that's how big it is. I can't quite remember. It's been a while since I've been in the studio. So that is used for several things, one of which being the position of your avatar. And these blocks connect to it. This is pretty simple to fly. There's several different ways of flying this thing. You jump to go forwards, which looks like backwards, but your avatar faces away from the direction of travel. So one of the easiest ways to fly this is going to be with first person. Also shift lock, which is here. So you fly this, you just point wherever you want to go. And you hold the jump and move your cursor around. That's one way of flying it. Another way is first person. This is how I recommend flying it if you're on mobile. And if you have this tool, you can make this invisible so you can see. So that's one way, and the third way, which is the way that I use, is you point the camera towards the direction that you want to go. And you use the S key, you can hold that, and you can move your cursor around. Well, you hold that and right click, and then you can use your camera to turn yourself. Or you can simply hold the jump button and use A and D to turn. Bear in mind, you are backwards, so the controls are going to be backwards. A is right and D is left. It's very confusing. And these things drift. move up and down you just stop jumping and then you could use 
forward and backwards to go up and down. There's really no other way of doing that. If you are lucky enough to have candy, then it's the purple candy. That will make you go faster. But that will only make you go faster forwards. And this candy here, this one will make you go faster up and down. I do not recommend using candies whilst in the spawn area because it can really mess you up. Let's just fly this to the end real quick. This works best without launching because when you get to the end you can use this tool here and you can select your truss and you can disable collision temporarily to drop it down the waterfall. And you can also use it to drop yourself on the chest. And there you go. This is how you use them, build, fly, and use trust bots. I got 237 gold there because I have the double game pass. Okay, so that's going to be it on this episode about trust I'll see you all in the next episode. Till then, Faithy.